often, we just don't want it enough. Those were breaking times where all my friends had fantastic jobs. Some of them were security men for the Stratford <laughs> shopping center. Some of them were taxi drivers, earning money. Friday nights, they would buy me Chinese and they would spread me. And they kept wondering, what is wrong with this guy? You went to school in Ghana, you've come to London, and you're looking for an office job. It doesn't work that way. But something in me kept me going, and I really wanted this break. I kept studying, I kept going for interviews. I did over 400 interviews, and I got one job offer. But that's all I needed, just one job offer with Electrolux. After four months, I got one job offer. And this is something someone told me. They said, Selom, if you want this enough, it would happen. And sometimes I think in this sort of new age, when you think about the fallacy of immediacy, when things don't happen, when you want it to happen, we give up. We no longer have this stamina of going, of continuing to go, continuing to battle, continue to challenge ourselves. We lose belief. We stop putting in the effort. The conviction somehow fades away because we no longer believe. We have this expectation of immediacy. That's what I mean by the fallacy of immediacy. Sometimes you have to hang in, and if you believe it enough, you will put what you need in, and it would happen. So this was something my mentor told me. I got that one job and it changed my life. I don't even know why the guy hired me. It was a guy called Craven Taylor. And, you know, I lied in that interview. I finished the interview, I had a job. But Craven said to me, for this job, Selom, you're going to be the project consultant for Electrolux UK which means you have to be able to drive and go around all our offices in the UK to build our new IT network. And I said, no problem. He said, do you have a driver's license? I said, no problem. <laughs> he didn't know what that means in Ghana, right? <laughs> so he hired me. And every time I had to travel, I had to hire someone. This guy never knew for about six months that I didn't know how to drive, or at least I didn't have a UK driver's license, so I couldn't drive. And after six months, it all sorted itself out. But that's how I started life. I believed, I kept going. All my friends stopped believing. All the jokes they poked at me those days. All the fun. And after six months of struggling, dodging my landlord, something happened. And today, that one incident, hanging in that day, is what has brought me here today.